Hello friends, family, and um, esteemed colleagues, just tried to do a quick video because I uh, was just bombarded with several different areas about the same thing. One was assault and uh, one was um, uh, benefits of humic acid and the minerals content in them. And uh, another one was uh, vegetable contribution to our mineral upload. So repetition and through repetition we are going to start implanting the truth into the brain. What is uh, humic acid? Well, the plant as it's growing creates acids that bore a hole in, into soil and in dissolving minerals and then they absorb the minerals. Then when plant dies or parts of the plant die, it goes to decomposition process where humic acids are being produced to do the decomposition. And then when rain calls down, it flushes everything and now some those minerals that have been deposited are now being released into water go into streams and then into the sea and that's where it accumulates because of the water evaporation and in time the water becomes salty now uh, every supplement pusher is pushing humic acid and minerals and then we have been following the supposing science that tells that only through humic acids we can get in these minerals because somehow they are not coming in through water I don't know how that works because we are getting the salt right and we are urinating the salt and we are sweating it out and we are crying it out I just don't understand how somebody can be so stubborn and so stupid and that uh, these humic acids help us and actually they also can release the toxic heavy metals this is just a lie on top of a lie on top of a lie on top of a lie until we make a mountain of lies and then we immerse ourselves into this and we start hearing it from one parrot to another parrot to another parrot and all of a sudden everybody has the same like a major media same story and we call that science more you read more scientifically knowledgeable you become well I am explaining that this is not so we are just regurgitating and repeating the same stupidities yes plants do liberate very small particles of minerals nano and smaller up to monoatomic and yet decay comes and humic acids are there and they do have minerals in them but minerals only from the area that are available and lately there is not much minerals left this is why fruits and vegetables don't have any more the flavor because flavor comes from minerals and now the question is well this so and so is pushing the knowledge about the humic acids and the minerals the benefits are we feel great using them well you feel great using them if this is the only way you are using getting minerals in of course better something than nothing but it's a far cry from sea salt because sea salt is from the whole planet all minerals end up in seawater now there's a polemic well Pacific and Atlantic oceans they do not mix again my opinion this is nonsense because we have currents going yeah there are clashes 
and there are currents clashing, but they seep one through the other. One goes up, one goes below. You have, it always happens. And then you don't have only, only Cape Horn crossing. What about South Africa? It's a huge bay of, land, of, of sea. Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. It's all same body of water. Yes, species don't usually go through because it's very cold water. So all tropical species, they cannot go from one ocean to the other. But sharks can, especially great white, can go all over the planet. And frequently does. So do whales. Although they have their usually familiar paths up and down the coast, staying in one or the other body of water, but they can pass across. And I'm sure they do. So, sea salt has all the minerals, seawater. Seawater has over 90 minerals in it. Freshly harvested sea salt, 84. So, way more than in any humic acid you can ever get. Plus, humic acid does not bring any benefits additional then it has more minerals than your average Josh Moore food, especially vegetable food. Now, question is, well, you see, vegetables get their minerals from the soil. Yeah, if there is a mineral there. And lately, we are not using menorah anymore to bring back the mineral. We are using artificial garbage. No minerals. And even if there would be minerals, every wild herbivore knows where to go to lick salt. Just look videos on the internet. Look at goats, where they go in the mountains and in how dangerous positions sometimes they go just to lick on a salt coming out, which is the humic acid or black goo but not to be confused with the artificial intelligence black goo. So, yes, you can, if you have no other salt, if you are deathly afraid of salt because your doctor told you so, and you know so that it will destroy your kidneys, well, at least use the humic acid. It is going to benefit you. But it's a far cry from freshly harvested sea salt. Far cry. And it's much cheaper. So don't be afraid of loading up with salt. As long as it is natural salt, it gives you plenty of minerals, including heavy metals, but also precious metals. Gold, iridium, rhodium, silver, semi-precious. It's all in there. No problem taking it. Your body regulates it. So your urine becomes salty, your, your sweat becomes saltier. That's okay. But body will be healthier. So if there would be this abundance of minerals coming out from vegetables, why then herbivores need salt and, and carnivores don't? because there's way more salt in meat because of electroconductivity we have to be very conductive and this is why we are salty inside this is why we have sodium chloride and we have 90 different minerals in the body every one of them has its frequency it helps our body resonate it correctly it's a healing process. Uh, where is the name salt coming from? From Old Greek. Old Greeks have a goddess of health named by that name. So, 
in the past, in past times, salt was used as a remedy, healing the remedy. Now, we are being scared shitless to run away from it. We are brainwashed idiots and doctors more than others. Just look at them running with a freaking depopulation jab. I will put them all behind. They deserve it. Thanks for those few that, w that, that woke up, at least partially. Okay, this is my rant for today. Gotta go. But please don't be afraid of sea salt. You can have as much of it as you want. Use it generously, as long as you are taking water so the body can regulate. And you'll be healthier for it. Love you all.